One male caver sits on a rock wall, wearing a helmet and harness. A second male caver walks towards him and sits down. They point towards the cave throughout the conversation. Hey, Anthony, how you doing? Hey, Chris, glad you could make it. Just gotta wait for Tristan to arrive and then we can begin. I'm really excited. Thanks for the invite. Where are we going? You don't know? Hey, give me a break. Just got invited two days ago. Come and cave with us, Tristan said. And, you know, now I'm here. Well, in that case, we're gonna be going up here to the mystery room. I'm excited to show you where the Twisted Sisters expedition began. It's a cave in their footsteps. The Twisted Sister expedition? Yeah, in 2018, a group of cave groups went to explore this section of the cavern. They wanted to resurvey some old coins, maybe find some new passages along the way. Wait, wait, wait. resurvey? Why do you need to resurvey something? To ensure a greater accuracy, a better map. We took the elevator underground today, correct? Yeah. And so you would have seen that four-sided exhibit in the underground lunchroom? Yeah. On the panel facing the elevator, it's a painstakingly created map of the big room. Now, that wasn't the product of any one-and-done cave trip. New technology, better lighting, heck, even knowing how to safely navigate an area can ensure greater accuracy. And that's what these cavers aim to do. So they started with the oldest known points. Were they able to get it where they wanted to go? Well, not exactly. There was a very narrow passage that they couldn't fit through. They ended up doing it about it. Ah, they found someone who could. Caving's all about finding creative solutions. They recruited a few park rangers who looked like they could fit through this passage and asked them to continue the trip. Oh, so that was Kelly, Katie, Leah, Ellen, and Tony, right? Yeah, so you know a little bit about the trip. Yeah, I've heard some more every now and again what they did. Apparently, they found the second deepest point in Carlsbad Caverns, uh, but after that, the details get a little fuzzy. What they end up naming it? It was called Lake of Muddy Misery, after all the mud that they had to crawl through to get to that point. If I remember my details correctly, it was 13 feet higher than the deepest known part of the cavern, which makes it 1,024 feet underground. Now, discovering a new chamber like that can be a tantalizing prize for those willing to put in the hard work. It can't be that simple, though. Sure it can. Caving is something people do all around the world. Take us, for example. We work at the park. We get these opportunities to explore off the main trail. We conduct research, we do survey, hopefully have fun in the process. Have you joined the local grotto yet? There's a club in town that exists for these type of trips. I haven't yet, but I don't want to look into it. I'm just uh, starting to get a little nervous, you know. Caving sounds dangerous, and everyone makes it sound so cavalier. Well, with the necessary trainings and support from the park, anything is possible. There are vertical areas. To get to the mystery room, for example, there are some gaps that climbing ropes need to be anchored and ascended. But keep remembering your trainings, ask for directions and some advice, and you should be fine. Should be? Well, the park does have a search and rescue team if need be. But both Tristan and I have been down this route many times. The decision is still yours. Ready to go? I'm just still feeling a little nervous. Ah, that's a-okay. I get nervous too when I go caving, but it makes me slow down. It helps make precise movements inside of the rock. That definitely makes me feel a little better. A female caver walks hey, on scene wearing a helmet and harness. As ready as I'll ever be. Let's go caving then. The female caver attaches herself to a traverse rope and walks across a tall cave formation. The three cavers would spend the next few hours caving and following in the footsteps of the Twisted Sisters and the other cave explorers before them. The spirit of exploration at Carlsbad Caverns National Park is still alive, thanks to the stories of Colonel Thomas Bowles, Elizabeth Lee, and the other characters you've met during this video series. Thank you for joining us and watching our park's history.